Okay guys, welcome to week two stream and this is a little experiment that you can do to learn about inertia, which this is our big word of the week. I am gonna start off with some pennies. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to make sure my eight pennies are in a nice neat stack. You could probably use ten, you could use seven. Why don't you try and see what happens if you use a lot more or a lot less? I'm not sure what will happen. So this is only the second time that I've done this experiment. Now, I've got my penny. I took one off the top and I'm going to flick it as hard as I can at this stack of pennies. Now, knowing what we know about inertia, that an object only moves if there's some kind of a, an action or en energy um, placed upon it, if it is hit, what do you think is gonna happen to the stack of pennies? Because we have um, one penny coming at them and then the stack on top. Let's see what happens when I do this. Do you think all the pennies are gonna fall over? Do you think just one penny will fall off the top? That's your hypothesis, what you think is going to happen. Now let's try to prove it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. One penny slid out from the bottom and the other pennies stayed in a stack. Let's try it again. I'm gonna stack these pennies up. And I've got my one penny right here and I'm going to, whoa, I missed. Okay, let's try again, Miss Bull. That was a little goofy. Try again and, oh, missed again. Just one penny was hit a little bit out from the bottom because that's the only penny, that's the only penny that the moving penny is touching. So there you have it, a little inertia experiment that you can try at home.